Howdy folks, happy Sunday. Welcome back to the Captain315 YouTube channel. I uh, wanted to go over some things here on the B1 Bomber, the wheel horse off-road tractor. Uh, we're not gonna cover anything on the machine itself except the belt system and pulley system that I've been working on. And uh, thought before buttoning everything up where nothing is visible, I would go ahead and do a quick video right up on it. So let's give it a shot. Yeah, Jenny, baby. If you're 315, you know what Jenny is. Ain't nothing like it. Okay, so B1 Bomber. We'll go over the tractor later. All right, this belt drive system is actually a design by Creepy Crawler. Creepy Crawler's on YouTube. If you're an off-road tractor person, which you probably are if you're watching this, you know who Creepy Crawler is. If you don't, you suck. This guy's good. He is a wheel horse god and an off-road tractor god and a hill bombing god. And a pretty damn cool guy to boot. Okay, so first thing we're gonna talk about is a common problem with the wheel horses that seems to pop up quite often. You guys do a pulley swap on them, whatever, and now they're bitching about the clutch won't release, uh, they can't get the thing in gear and everything else. Folks, safety aside, you have to have a belt guard on these things. That is how wheel horse designs them to run. You've got a guard here, you've got an upper guard. When you press on the clutch, you can actually watch it back here a little bit. See how that belt kind of raises up off the pulley? The belt wants to run straight, okay? Centrifugal force is gonna raise the belt, drop the belt. These guards on the wheel horses run very close. The belt damn near pretty much rides on it, okay? When you step on the clutch and the belt goes slack, the belt can't go this way, it can't go this way because of the guards. It will push it off the front of the pulley. When it does that, that is how you have disengagement. You have to have these guards on, folks. Okay, so on this setup, running an upper idler, that just seemed to make the clutch a little bit easier to release, a little more predictable, much smoother. Uh, instead of going all the way from here, all the way to the engine pulley and having to work that much belt and all the flop and everything else in it, uh, with or without the guard, that tensioner really helped. So then I went to Creepy Crawler's other half and went to the lower idler. The lower idler is providing more belt wrap it is also getting that belt up and out of the way so that you don't have a belt running from here all the way up here, down below your frame, and getting hit by any crap or anything. All right, um, another design. This is something that uh, apparently a lot of the Michigan folks in the, in, that get into the mud and everything with these things do. This is a mud bogger thing. Uh, Mr. Studebaker, if you're an off-road tractor person, you better know Studebaker too. He's on YouTube. He is another guru. At the top of his game, he is a mad scientist and a hell of a guy to boot. All right, drill holes in there to get the mud and water and crap out of the belt because when this is running, apparently this can form a wedge and for basically for all intents and purposes, it's lifting the belt right off the pulley and you have slip issues. I have not tried this. I don't do a lot of deep mud, uh, very rarely do. I'll get into creek, deep creek beds and stuff once in a while, but that's more dirty water and stuff. Than, uh, than mud and silt. Very anxious to try this out. Um, now, this creepy crawler setup, if you look here, I don't want this belt to fly off on the front. This is how he designed this, and I'll tell you what, his machine works really good. This guard runs very close, and then you see a little piece of eighth inch strap steel there and a piece of eighth inch strap in here, okay? That belt, it's not touching the belt right now, but when the clutch releases, the belt will ride on that, but it can't go anywhere. It's pretty much wrapped all the way around. So where is it going to pop loose? It's gonna pop loose back here. Uh, much easier to get the tractor in and out of gear, change directions, so on and so forth. I'm looking forward to trying it because I have had belt brake issues with this, especially when the belt's wet. And that's a bitch when you get in the water and you gotta back up and you cannot get that belt to stop moving to do so. Um, I don't know, it's a hell of a setup. Uh, preliminary tests show that it's been very positive. Um, 
I don't know, kind of off subject here, but I run a seven inch engine pulley and a five on the transmission with 26 inch tires. Uh, souped up 18 horse Briggs, a Pose Twin. Uh, it'll run 20, but I would not want to hold it there because that thing is really winding up and it's got stock rods and flywheel and everything. Um, geez, I don't know if there's anything else I need to cover, but that's the, that's the setup, folks. Uh, again, you have to have your belt guards of some way, shape, or form on here or and or a way to stop this belt from moving or you're pretty much screwed. Uh, I guess that's about it. Tune in in less than two weeks. Top Tractor Challenge 2021. Don't ask me how I got in, but uh, I'm not a very good driver, but this damn tractor is going to be on point. All right, folks, that's all till next time. Take care.